Life's a short gift. We have about 4,000 weeks to spend on this planet, some more, some less. And unfortunately, I was recently greeted by the news about early passing of YouTuber Technoblade. Technoblade was a YouTuber who I admired for his sarcastic commentary and his humor and his positivity. He had an amazing sense of drive and he was able to create fun situations uh, out of almost anything. And thinking about this, I realized, you know, life's a short gift. We have got about 4,000 weeks approximately to spend there on the planet, some more, some less. And here's the thing, uh, what makes life worth living for you and for your personality type? So in today's video, we're talking about what makes life worth living for the 16 personalities. So everyone has their unique set of things that they enjoy doing, that they find to be valuable, that they find to be meaningful, that they find to be important. And so I want to start talking about the INFP. The INFP is the personality type that finds the most value in genuine acts of spontaneous and free self-expression. INFPs engage in introverted feeling to enter into a state of flow. And it's through this function that they're able to resolve problems in the world and in their personal life by listening to their own inner voice they're able to reach a state of happiness and contentedness another personal type we're talking about is the intp intps enjoy improving their sense of competency there to challenge themselves to grow to learn new skills to improve at things to be uh, as good as possible at something. The desire to be good at something is a huge motivator for the INTP and it's a really admirable one. ENTPs enter into a state of flow by engaging in different forms of exploration, of the pursuit of new opportunities, of new possibilities. Similarly, ENFPs enjoy figuring out and making connections between things and learning about new and different ways to look at the world. ISFJs enter into a flow state by finding and practicing contentment and balance, by working on and creating a steady harmony and a healthy routine for themselves to support other people to be responsible and dependable. Similarly, ISTJs like the idea of being responsible, of doing something good for honoring people and to take care of and make sure that everything in the world works and that things stay and maintain their place. ESTJs enter into a state of flow when they are able to uh, push themselves to achieve new accomplishments, to be able to see new fruits of their work, to be able to produce content or to create something of tangible value to the world. Similarly, an ESFJ is a person that experiences and seeks and enters into a flow state when they are able to connect with other people and to build bridges between people when they're able to help people get along and understand one another. ENFJs enter into a flow state when they are able to inspire people, to set a positive example for others, to motivate others, and to make other people feel a bit better. ENTJs enter into a flow state when they're able to, like the ESTJ, achieve great accomplishments. They like challenges, they like uh, overcoming obstacles of uh, succeeding despite the odds. INTJs like the idea of realizing a vision or a goal. They often have a strong idea of what it is that they want to accomplish in the world. And they work tirelessly and uh, hardly. <laughs> they work with a lot of emphasis and willpower to achieve that goal. INFJs similarly share this sense of vision and often share a vision for humanity and for uh, what the world could be like for people in order for people to be happier. ESTPs share this desire to enjoy the present moment, to be able to be fully alive, to experience everything as it is, to have rich and genuine experiences, to see new things, to be where things happen and to push them, their body and their life to their limits to really fill their life with as much joy as possible. And the ESFPs, they enter into a flow state similarly 
by being able to create the fun in any moment, to be able to turn anything into a fun, interesting exchange, to be able to uh, bring out humor in any situation, and to be able to turn life into a dance or a musical. ISFPs enter into a flow state when they're able to find and discover new things about themselves, and when they're able to find hobbies and actions and activities that represent them, when they're able to find colors or beautiful ways to express themselves that show who they are. ISTPs enjoy feeling like they're in control of life, that they are able to handle whatever life throws at them, that they have the skills and capacities necessary to address issues in the world and in their personal life, that they're people masters of their own bodies and of their own lives. All of the 16 personality types should think about what it is that gives them a flow state, what makes them happy, what makes their life meaningful. It's not worth wasting time doing unnecessary, stressful and pointless things. Stress is nice, but only if it's for the sake of something that you really care about. You need to think about and make sure that you spend your time with and live with intention. Why do you do what you do and what is it that makes the things that you do matter and have meaning? Think about those things and don't forget to, yeah, take care of yourself and the people that you love. Make life better for yourself and for your friends and loved ones. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.